Peace and blessings, beautiful people. Peace and blessings. This is Empress Money, and welcome to this episode of Sacred Love Lessons. Truth always held more power than any other way of being. Asha Naswami. I'm Empress Money, inspirational teacher of Sacred Love Lessons. I have women to honor the law within so they too can manifest the life of their dreams. We're in season five. Be your own guru. 12 Secrets of the Sacred Saber. Sacred Love Lessons is brought to you by House of Sacred Love, where every day is self-love day. Be inspired to honor yourself with clear intentions, release what no longer serves you, claim your freedom, and head in the right direction to manifest the life of your dreams. You can book your life-changing one-on-one clarity session today at houseofsacredlove.com. That is houseofsacredlove.com. So you guys, we have taken a break and we are back. Let's do a little recap, a little refresher, so we can see where we are. We first learned about various frequencies. Then we began our shadow work, dying to our ego self, trauma, and low vibing energies. Then we cleared and balanced our lower chakras. We left off at the crossroads of our heart chakra. Today, we ascend higher into our manifesting superpowers of the throat chakra frequency. Our objective today is to speak our truth using throat chakra energy. But before we start, let's invoke our goddess energy of Sir Ket. Sir Ket, the Egyptian goddess of scorpions, is closely associated with the throat chakra. This connection is rooted in the symbolic significance of scorpions and their venom. Scorpions are known for their venomous stings. In ancient Egypt, venom was often associated with the power of speech and communication. While scorpion venom was dangerous, it was also believed to have healing properties. This connection to healing aligns with the throat chakra's role in promoting self-healing and transformation. Circus association with the throat chakra teaches us that communication and self-expression, while powerful, can also be dangerous if not used wisely. It reminds us to use our words with care and seek healing and transformation through honest and authentic communication. The throat chakra is the energetic center associated with communication, self-expression, creativity, and manifestation. It is located at the base of the throat. The throat chakra is associated with the ether element, which is the energy, frequency, and vibration that permeate the universe. Key characteristics of the throat chakra include self-expression. The throat chakra is the bridge that connects our chakras. It is responsible for how we express ourselves verbally. It influences our communication style, ability to articulate our thoughts and feelings, and overall self-expression. When communicating with the external world, we use the front of the throat chakra. When engaging in self-talk, we use the back of the throat chakra. Our self-expression is fueled by the energy coming from our other chakras. In this episode, we will cover the self-expression fueled by our roots, sacral, solar plexus, and heart chakras. Manifestation. The throat chakra is a unique channel for creation. It is connected to our ability to manifest our desires into reality. By speaking our intentions and ideas, we bring them to life internally and externally. The best way to engage our throat chakra is to wait for the energy to flow through it before speaking or acting. This means that it's often best to wait for inspiration and clarity before expressing ourselves. Wait until we speak honestly and we actually believe what we are saying. So no fake it till you make it. Not over here. The throat chakra can be balanced or imbalanced. The throat chakra becomes imbalanced due to an accumulation of restrictive moments and experiences. These restrictive moments include the times we were silenced, taught that our opinions were invalid, or abused by someone abusing their power. 
Over time, we may have repressed our feelings and denied our self-expression. When our throat chakra is balanced, we speak from a place of peace, wholeness, truth, and compassion that heal those we communicate with. There is no shame, guilt, regret, or blame in our body language, words, tone of voice, or vibration. When the throat chakra is balanced, we can hear and listen carefully to what others are saying. The truth is in the gap, the vibration and frequency, especially when someone is under pressure. So where are you speaking from? Each chakra speaks through your throat. When speaking from the root chakra, we may ask ourselves, will I be heard? Am I safe? Is this a safe space to express my true feelings or thoughts? Will I be rejected? Am I worried about what others think about what I have to say? These questions are reflected in our body language. We speak from the sacral chakra. We may ask ourselves, why am I here? What is my purpose? What is the meaning of this? What's in it for me? These questions are reflected in our tone of voice. We speak from the solar plexus. We may ask ourselves, who am I? How do I feel? Am I being honest? What is true for me? How can I express myself more honestly and openly? Am I being truthful to myself, my thoughts, my opinions, my ideas? These questions are reflected in our emotions. We speak from our heart chakra. We may ask ourselves, how do I define healthy communication? Am I a mindful listener? Who and what do I love? Is this what I really want? What do I really want? Who and what am I grateful for? These questions are reflected in our vibration and spoken through our words in the throat chakra. So how do we tap into the throat chakra frequency? The first thing we want to do is complete our shadow work. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Number two, meditate and visualize. Number three, use crystal energy. Number four, speak affirmations. And number five, journal work. Our shadow work for this episode is clearing self-repression. Clearing self-repression. Our objective is to speak our truth using throat chakra energy. Self-repression in the throat chakra is often caused by a fear of speaking your mind or expressing yourself authentically. This fear can stem from various factors, including past trauma, negative experiences related to communication, such as bullying, criticism, or rejection can lead to a fear of expressing yourself. I remember when I was growing up in our family and in our community, as children, we were told that children are meant to be seen and not heard. So as a child, a lot of times we were told to be quiet. You could not have an opinion of your own. You could not speak up for yourself. You had to just sit there and be quiet and listen. Another factor that can cause fear in the throat chakra is societal expectations. Pressure to conform to societal norms or expectations can stifle self-expression. For example, gender inequality, governmental restrictions, and religious conditioning. For me, in this area, the one thing that I withheld for most of my life is the fact that I enjoy women as well that I am bisexual, that I have been that way my whole life. And I didn't come out until 2017 because of the religious conditioning that I grew up with as a child. So that's one of the factors that can create fear within the throat chakra. Another factor is fear of judgment. The fear of being judged or ridiculed can prevent people from sharing their thoughts and feelings. And we see a lot of that in our society today where people are very judgmental. Another factor is lack of self-worth. 
Low self-esteem can make it difficult to believe your voice is valuable or worthy of being heard. So what happens when we don't express ourselves? The first thing is difficulty communicating. You may struggle to articulate your thoughts and your feelings. Feeling silenced, a sense of not being able to express ourselves freely, holding back. We avoid expressing our opinions or beliefs. Feeling unheard or misunderstood, a sense that our voice is not being valued. These feelings are frequencies and can be changed through spiritual frequency hopping. We can change the channel and I'm going to show you how. So how do we speak our truth using throat chakra energy? One, know thyself. This is the foundation for everything we do. You must know yourself. So the first thing you want to do is ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? Then sit with that energy. Your higher self will begin to speak to you. Two, identify the root causes and face your fears. Explore your past, spend time in silence, and consider childhood experiences, relationships, or societal pressures that may have contributed to self-repression. Two, examine your beliefs. Are limiting beliefs or negative self-talk from your inner critic holding you back? What stories are you telling yourself? Challenge limiting beliefs. Replace negative self-talk with positive affirmations. You can also refer back to the shine the light exercise that we did. I think it was either in the sacral or the solar plexus frequency episode. So you may want to refer back to those two where we did the shine the light exercise. Then you want to reclaim your energy. Recall your power back to you. Some people refer to this process as soul retrieval. Start by forgiving yourself for giving your power away. Then call your energy back in. All you have to do is just say, I recall my energy back to me. I recall my energy from the north, the south, the east, and west. I recall my energy back to me. And just keep saying that repeatedly, you will begin to feel yourself getting full from the energy that you just gave away or that was siphoned away from you. Then you want to practice self-awareness. Pay attention to your thoughts and feelings. Notice when you're repressing emotions or thoughts. One tool to help make you aware of yourself is journaling. Journal your feelings. Journaling is an intimate conversation with yourself. It is a safe and sacred space where you write down your thoughts and feelings to better understand who you are. Now I have some journal prompts for you and you can come up with your own, but here are a few to get you started. I express myself authentically when you fill in the blank. I feel comfortable and free when I'm put in a location, when you, wherever you are. I feel comfortable and free when I'm with or around, and then you fill in who. I'll read through those again. I express myself authentically when I feel comfortable and free when I'm I'm comfortable and free when I'm with or around. Express yourself. Explore creative outlets like writing, painting, music, or other innovative ways to express yourself. Seek help. You may want to employ a life coach, spiritual advisor, or therapist who can help you uncover and challenge limiting beliefs. Then you want to build healthy relationships. Create a circle of supportive people who encourage self-expression and authenticity. Today, it just seemed like so many people are fake. So many people are living double lives. So many people are lying. It's hard to know what is real and what is not. So make sure you tap into your intuition and discernment when dealing with people. Everything that glitters is not gold. And a lot of people are just in it for the money. A lot of people are clout chasing, they want fame. A lot of people pretend to be something that they're not and they believe in the fake it till you make it. So make sure you use your discernment 
and intuition when creating your circle of supportive friends. Then set boundaries. Set healthy boundaries. Learn to say no when necessary to protect your emotional well-being. Next, practice self-compassion and gratitude. Be kind to yourself. It's okay for you to speak your truth and express yourself. Treat yourself with the same compassion you would offer a friend. Then, celebrate your progress daily with gratitude. Give thanks and acknowledge your achievements no matter how big or small you perceive them to be. Affirmation. My voice matters and I deserve to be heard. I honor my voice and I communicate clearly, effectively, and authentically with these. I know when to speak and when to listen. Divine inspiration and wisdom flow through me and I use my voice as a healing agent for the highest good of all. My voice matters and I deserve to be heard. I honor my voice and I communicate clearly, effectively, and authentically with these. I know when to speak and when to listen. Divine inspiration and wisdom flow through me and I use my voice as a healing agent for the highest good of all. I say and so it is. I leave you with this final thought. You are the key to you. Don't run away from yourself, your love, or your life. When you come into complete alignment, the real you emerges. Speak your truth. The power is yours. So that's what I have for you today. Thank you for listening to this episode of Sacred Love Lessons. Be your own guru, 12 Secrets of the Sacred Saber. Wherever you're tuning in in the world, don't forget to click that like, comment, and subscribe. And until we speak again, be the light.